Good morning, and well, it's not really morning, is it? Today's video is looking at the problems with Arrow over the last two seasons, basically. It, it's clear that since The Flash started, some of the better writers have left, and that's really not the only problem with the show. So today I'm going to run down my top five problems with Arrow, um, working from like my least worst problem to my most worst fatal problem problem. So um, without further ado, num my number five problem, I've talked about this a bit before in a couple of, uh, video from a couple of weeks ago where I talked about villains and how Damien Dark, he just isn't doing it for me. I mean, I, I like him, he's, he's a good enough villain, but he's not He's not on the same level as the likes of Kilgrave, or Fisk, or even Zoom, or the Reverse Flash, or any of those. He, hell, he doesn't even hit Deathstroke level. He just doesn't have that personal connection to Oliver, the same way Merlin and Deathstroke, and to an extent Raz did. So, I'm not going to touch on this because I talked about it in the other video, you can watch that. Click my face. At number four is the lack of non-masked characters. It feels like pretty much everyone on the show is is a vigilante, wears a mask. Whereas in season one you had Moira, you had Tommy, you had Walter, you had all of those other characters who didn't wear masks. Oliver and Diggle were like the only one wearing a mask. All of these people have become, have either died or have become vigilantes and that's left and any non-masked characters that we have at the moment is Curtis who is going to become Mr. Terrific and you've got Felicity's mother who's just Felicity's mother and I will get to more about those characters later on yeah even Quentin has sort of become a part of Team Arrow now and that's changed it tonally so it no longer feels like a grounded realistic look at a superhero show and that's fine, that's the direction the universe is taking, but it just doesn't feel like the same show, and it's definitely missing something, because it doesn't have that layer of humanity underneath it, which The Flash does manage to maintain with the likes of Joe and Iris. At number three um, is a vast underuse of characters. They have some amazing characters on Arrow. Oliver Queen and Stephen Amell's ability to play him is just fabulous. And Laurel, for example, she gets what? Four lines per episode? It, it's not enough and she's supposed to be the female lead. It, it, it's just a criminal underuse of those characters. And I get the likes of Constantine, they've got rights and stuff tangled up with, but Vixen, she's amazing. In that last episode, she was by far the highlight because she was a breath of fresh air into the status quo, and if she could come back and do more, then that would be great, but at number two is sort of a connected one. How many arrows do you think, think Oliver has fired this year? I don't know, although I'm willing to bet more arrows were fired in the Legends of Tomorrow episode Star City 2046 than were fired in the entirety of season four of Arrow. He's an archer. He's a long-range fighter, he doesn't do hand-to-hand -hand combat. And I get that he can do that, and that's great. But it's not what I want. I watched the show to see some badass archery. I don't watch the show to see some guy hitting some criminals with a bow. This brings me to the biggest problem with the show at this moment in time. Felicity Smoke. Just everything about her. In season one and two, she was funny. Then, in season three, um, she cried at everything. I don't know why. I, I mean, it's nothing personal against um, the actress. I'm sure she's a wonderful actress, but the character has been written so two-dimensionally. Uh, it's so contradictory. Like, two weeks ago, she had a conversation with her mother, um, telling her that, oh, maybe Quentin had a good reason to lie to you. And then in the next episode, she walks out on Oliver because he lied to her 
but he had a good reason to do it. Just, oh. She has become the main character of the show. All of the non-mass characters that I was talking about earlier, and there's not enough of those, they're all connected to Felicity. You've got Felicity's mother. You've got um, Curtis and his boyfriend or husband or whatever their relationship is now. And they're all connected to Felicity. It's all Felicity. Felicity this, Felicity that. And honestly, yeah, she's an alright character. I don't, I don't mind her. But there are other characters in the show. Now, I like to think I've got quite a good way on of how to solve this problem. Um, but I, it's not this video. This is another video, which will hopefully be coming out on Wednesday. So you can click my face to get that when it's uploaded. Or I'm going to be shooting them back to back. So I suppose you can just click my face now. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.